Well, hello all my model car building buddies. This is Glenn's Models. I'm Glenn, and this counts as community service. Okay, here's the show. Let me get down here to where I can uh, show. Um, let me see. Trabant. Y'all remember this little Trabant guy? And uh, I've done little. Okay. I made drive shaft. Uh, yeah, drive shaft. Transmission tunnel for it. And you can see, it's pretty clean. Pretty good, pretty good job there. And the firewall, which hasn't been smoothed out here yet. And I'm working on it. And that's about it, though. Um, yeah. He's coming along slow. I've got the... I finished up the front axle. Yeah. You know, remember last time I, I made these spindles for it. And I got tie rod on there. It don't look too bad. It could have used a little more filing and cleaning up. But for it is what it is. And yeah, it, it also doesn't want to focus very well. Um, okay. That's about all I've gotten done this week. The uh, hot and heavy is pr covered with primer. And I just primed it a little while ago. And uh, it's too wet to mess with. But I still have a big show. It's still going to be a big show, I think. Somewhere, somewhere right about, yeah, somewhere right about in here. That's a pretty good sized show right there. So I have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of my projects I have coming up that I have ready to build, but I hadn't built them yet. <laughs> this one, you remember that uh, coronet? Oh, what the heck did I do with it? It's over there. Uh, that coronet comes with the little U-Haul trailer. Okay. And I found the cab. I want, I want to make a wrecker out of it. And this here, this here cab is going to sit on it. It'll sit straight. And uh, it's going to be a Herman Munster wrecker. If you look at this body line here, that little thing lines up pretty good with the, with the bed line and at the bottom too. So I think that's a pretty good fit. And it, yeah, it's about the same width as the cab. So I think that's going to be all right. But it's going to be a Herman Munster wrecker. You know, he's got, they him and Eddie, you know, they got their uh, Munster wrecker service. And, uh, but Herman can't drive all the, all the wreckers. So I decided I'm going to hook him up with one of his own that he can drive. So I got this extra cab. I got two of these guys. And I'm going to cut the top off of this one. And put it on this one. And make it like the tall T. You know that tall tall T model? They call it a tabletop T. And I'm going to make it up to about here. I'm using this extra extra pieces off the doors and the roof of that. Make it extra tall so, so Herman can get in there no problem and drive it. I saw this one in a picture one time of a... It was a T model and it had a box body on it and real tall doors to where the guy could just walk into it and stand up and drive it if he needed to. And that's where I got the idea. So anyway, I'm going to make this real tall and this will be a Herman Munster wrecker for the wrecker serve. Munster's wrecker service. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, next I have... What do I have next? I have... I'm going to unbox this bad boy because this is awesome. This is an awesome, awesome model. I need to move the old whirly jigger out of the way over here so I have room. Yeah. And I'm going to do an unboxing on this because this is such an awesome kit. And it'll be a quick one though. I'm not going to, I won't take up a whole lot of time. I know a lot of y'all don't care too much for unboxings and a lot of you do. I've had a lot of people say, I don't like them. And I've had just as many people say, I like them. So there you go. Uh, I'll try to please half the people or, or at least 50% of them. Now, here's the special parts I like. I like these I like these rims. You'll notice they're eh, 
not molded through, but they look good. A little black in there would make them look really nice. But these, whoo, they don't say Krager because I guess they don't want to pay the royalties or licensing. I guess that's what it is. But they look like Krager's. Very beautiful set of wheels there. Like them, I like them. Hey, some clear parts. I ain't going to show you those because you can't see them on here. We have, they give us a roll bar. You got to have a roll bar if you're going to have, that's for the drag version. Here is, woo, hey, that's cool rear end. Anyway, it's got the, the uh, drive shaft yoke sticking out there for the drive shaft. If I wonder if there's a drive shaft in here. <laughs> and we got scoops. I love these scoops. My Super B had those scoops on them. One on each side of the car. And a wing. Oh, I love wings. I really do. I like accessories. A lot of people don't like those rear window louvers. I do. Now, I'm not sure what the heck these are. But I'm going to say there's some sort of a traction enhancing device for the rear end. Yeah, you know. And, woo! Oh, these are the roll bar braces. Got to have braces. Another one of those NHRA things. Man, those bow covers are really crisp and clean. I think they're stockers, but, oh. Ah, I'm trying. I'm trying, people. I try real hard to keep this stuff smooth, steady, and in frame. But you got to remember, I ain't right. Well, I like those seats. Those are pretty cool seats. Yes, they are. Nice, nice detail in the dash. All right, if I don't start acting right and keeping things in the thing i'm going to turn this video around we'll all go home nobody will get to see it and dad gummit straighten up uh oh i hear a puppy there's the rear there's the rear uh chassis it has the drive shaft molded in that's kind of like an anti-glen device yeah so so i can't build it without a drive shaft here <laughs> here is the body Oh, you'll have to excuse my French. I had a I had a croissant a little while ago, and it's backing up, <laughs> backing up on me. And there's, this is a beautiful body, man. It really is. Look at those tail lights. I like the tail lights on this. Nice and clean. I'm not. Where's those mold lines? There've got to be some parting lines. Probably some up here, and on top of the fenders, probably around here. But look how nice that is, man. That is really nice clean what else we got we have a hood now that's an important piece to any car keeps the rain off the motor oh there are some slicks and so once again i'm not keeping things in the frame just right i swear i ain't i ain't fooling around don't test me all right there oh i like that steering wheel you know, I haven't had a chance to peruse this very well yet. Now, this is the first time I'm seeing a lot of this stuff, too. These are the these are the stands for that wing. I really like wings. I do. Okay, now we got... Oh, these are cool. Demon. Oh, there's that darn croissant again. And uh, STP. I love the... I love contingency decals or sponsor decals. And, yep, 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 yep. Oh, Dodge, that's a nice one to have right there. That'll go good on something. 71. I, I like to use the plates that's got the got the birthday on it. Because uh, I can't remember what year stuff is. I have the worst memory for years, names, and faces. Which means I got a lot of friends. I just don't know who they are. I don't recognize <laughs> That's That's a terrible joke. All right, give me a second to get this back in 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 the box and put this over. Put that on, and I'm almost done. Okay, got it. Dodge Demon. Oh, and it's available at bah, 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 SpotlightHobbies.com. Good place to go and do do yourself some shopping. All right, now I got. I got a thing I want to do. I've had a couple of requests for me to do like a straight through build video on a couple of these weird cars that I've been doing different stuff. And it's not a bad idea, but I don't have a computer. So uh, what I can do 
is I could show you what I did and what I'm fixing to do or how I'm fixing to do it a little at a time. Uh, okay, and I'll try that to see if it works. It might not work. I'm not that smart. You guys got to remember, I I'm working with a... I only got like three brain cells left. Most of them are, you know, not even friends of mine. Um, I'm going to take this. Ang Anglia. Let me get the body out. I just need the body. It's all I need for conversation. Okay. And get this out of the way. Anglia. Yep. Oh, don't need that chassis. Won't be needing that. Actually, all I'm going to use out of that kit are the doors, trunk lid, hood, and windows. Because this is going to be flip up bunny car yep you set this over here it'll be going on this bantam blast there's that darn croissant again remember this guy oh i love this kit it's such a good this kit has got more good parts in it. don't let that npc this is one of the ones that slipped by half of the npc kits are really good and the other half are well you know what the npc they say it stands for all right, but what, I, okay, to make a mashup like this, to turn this into a, an altered, like this, uh, flip-up body, center steer probably, I guess it would qualify as an altered, okay, need, the, need this frame, and I'm just going to rip it off of there because of time restraints, okay, first things first is to check your wheelbases. You know, to see if it's even going to work. And the back wheelbase, I'm pretty sure, is somewhere right in here. And the front wheelbase should be in this notch. So I'm just going to hold this up here and see. That lines up the back wheels. Oh, check it out. Front wheels, pretty close to lining up. I may have to shift. I may have to shift something forward or back. But check it out. The roll bar fits inside there. Let me get that centered. Yeah, check out the roll bar is in there. Oh, this is going to work good, I'm thinking. And if you go by the picture on the box, right there you'll see that the front, uh, the motor is just behind the axle, and the driver just in front of the rear axle, which is already here showing. So the motor should come up Right about in here somewhere, maybe looking through the windshield or through this. Not sure. That's one of the mysteries we'll find out when we build it. So, that's the deal I'm going to do. I'm going to build this, and every step I'll show you something. <laughs> I'll, I'll either show you how I'm going to do it, what I did, or how I'm going to... How, how, you'll see. You'll see. Just watch, and you'll, you'll see. Dad gummit. So, yeah, that's that's that deal. That's gonna be cool. I think that'll make a really cool model. Oh, old, old Bantam Blast and Anglia. All right. I, oh, Grammy's back. I had to tell you, Grammy's back. She brought home two of her friends from jail. One of them is a guard, but the other one is an inmate. How she got the inmate out, I don't know. But there, they just moved on in and told me they was going to stay there for a little while. And which is cool because I don't mind camping out in the backyard in a tent. Uh, I ain't staying in the house with them. They guys, these guys are animals. Donnie made dinner for him the other night, okay? And he brought it out and he hands it to the inmate there. And he just, he stuck the plate right up to his chin and start pushing the food into his mouth he's like oh man this is really great what is this and i said that's just barbecue chicken chopped up and stuff he's oh it's really good and what is this over here as that's macaroni and cheese with mushroom soup in it oh it's delicious what's this white crunchy stuff and dude that is the plate you need to slow down you're going too fast chew your food anyway yeah, I'm staying out in the backyard. I got me a sleeping bag in a tent, and then I'll go back in when they leave. But Grammy gave them some of her special possum tea, kind of will knock you out. And while they're sleeping over there on the couch, 
I come out, I'm gonna do my show. So, yep, it's time for my show. And let me see, check that. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. I'm checking my, uh, I'm checking my, dadgummit, move stuff around. I'm checking my cue cards. And that's about it, yeah. Okay, now the other project I got, this one, this one is maybe give you guys some ideas. I might, I might try to give you guys some ideas on something to do. This here, Boneyville, Sporty Coop, Coupe. And it comes with all sorts of custom stuff. I really like this custom back in. It looks futuristic, and it looks uh, futuristic. You know what I'm talking about? And that front end, that's very futuristic. I'm using that word a lot. And these side thingies. These dealy <laughs> side pipes, I like those. I like everything about this. But, you know, it's the same as everybody else's. If, they, if you got one of these and you build it custom, you're going to have one just like mine. And I like to be different from everybody. So, I'll take that. Ba -da -bum. This, I'm going to whack this roof. Clean off windshield, roof, everything, and replace it with bubble top. Bump, bump, ba dump, bump, bubble top. And maybe that plate that's inside with them little, with them little, uh, headrests on it. Yeah, what do you think of that? Spaceship with a bubble top. That'll make it even look more like a futuristic spaceship. I'm kind of anxious wanting to do this, but... Oh, I got so many other things to do that I don't got time to do it for, for probably a little while. But I really want to do that. And if any of you guys think that's a good idea and you want to try it, shut up and do it. Don't tell me about it. All right, get the Whirly Jigger back. Whirly Jigger. Oh, there's Ralph in the corner over there. You can't see him because he's hiding. I want to show you too. I got my I got my light from at Moral made for me over here. Model cars with Glenn. He made that for me. It's so nice. And little Glenn, he's sitting up there watching out for stuff. You know they gotta be they gotta be in on stuff. Okay, I got three cars I want to show you real quick, and then it's gonna be the end of my show. Cause you see, I'm I'm right I'm right I'm right about here right now, and I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm going here, trying to shooting for here. It might just be there. All right, this one is the uh, double dragster kit. Yeah, it is the double dragster kit. Uh, let me see, what did I do? I changed out the front wheels and the back uh, back rims, and I put this body on. This is a Revel parts pack or AMT part, whoever the hell makes the parts pack. I don't remember right now. You know those, hang on, I got some right here. I guess it's Revel. I think they both do, actually. Anyway, it's one of the parts pack bodies, and it fit right on that, it fit right on that double dragster chassis. And I'm not sure what the headers are from, uh, but everything else is from the double dragster or that parts pack. Front wheels come out of a, uh, let me see. Okay, they came out of a Polar Lights Funny Car Kit. Let me make her do a couple of spins for you. I like this one because I, I really like altered. This is an older one. Probably probably somewhere in the mid-60s, uh, mid I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm guessing mid-60s. Pretty cool little car. I'll bring her back around, then I got two more to show. I'm running low on time already. Uh, I better not. I better not mess around too long. Okay, now you know how I like to take. You seen what I did to Tom Daniels? Uh, what was it? Uh, Sidewinder, and I like to take his kits and give them a new look. Uh, don't get mad at me. This was not the only beer wagon available. There's millions of them out there, so don't tell me I messed up a, an icon or something. But this is the beer wagon without the front fenders, uh, different front axle and headlights, different motor and side pipes, and a, a tw I, I don't know what that bed is off of. I'm guessing like a 29, one of them Rebel 29 kits. 
And, uh, yeah. That is the Z Beer Wagon. And, yeah. That's what I've done with it. <laughs> I, I like I like to remodify stuff. It's more fun than just building it, you know. I do need a new I do need another beer wagon because I really like that kit. This is my supermodel. The heck with the spinning. I don't have that much time left. I want to show you the I want to show you the detail in this bad boy. I got the V drive. Oh, well, let me get my pointy. Okay. Got the V drive. The radiator with the coolant fan on it. And there's the coil. Oh, that is nice, man. I really like that. Got the spark plug wires. Big box Chevy. And these are the fuel lines that goes up to the two carbs. And down to the fuel pump. And let me turn it around, and we will see uh, alternator, blower belt, not, not a whole lot really. There's coil wire. I was thinking I had. Oh, there it is. There's a. You can't hardly see it. It's way down in here. That's the shifter, hydraulic shifter lines, and hydraulic clutch. Yeah. Oh, over here we got a pair of filters with the oil lines running back. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got the mufflers running back and then the exhaust coming out through the back of the thing. <laughs> this was one of my favorite models. I put a whole lot of work into it. And it's got stuff under the hood. <coughs> Again. <clears throat> There's a battery box up here. And a steering box right there. And brake booster. Heater core. Neato gas tank got it's fully wired got the fuel lines coming off of it and I like to put decals under the hood to break up the monotony <coughs> That gummit. I don't know if you can see inside of it got that same checkerboard pattern on the doors <coughs> That gummit. <coughs> excuse me people pardon me for being so coffee anyway <coughs> Well, I let it spin I'm going to say thank you for watching. Appreciate everybody. Uh, sorry this one took so long. There's a long one here. <coughs> but most of you probably already went home or in the kitchen making a sandwich. And I want to thank everybody for watching. And please comment, if you will, and give me a like and subscribe. Please subscribe. That's That, that helps more than anything. And, but I love the comments, and it, oh, it takes me forever to answer them. So if I don't answer you right away, just wait. It's coming. And, all right. And, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. So I will see y'all later. Bye.